Yeah, this is a story of a famous dog. The dog chases his tail, gets dizzy. I am very excited to be doing this episode of Film Fan. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely my favorite romantic comedy of all time. I'm talking about the 1992 classic, Eddie Murphy classic, Boomerang, right here on Film Fan. Hey, welcome to Film Fan, my channel where I discuss all things film related and my passion for film. So if that, is, if that is also your thing and you want to hear more about movies and film scores and my take on film and film scores since all film related material, hit that subscribe button below, hit the notifications bell so you get notified when I put up new content. Let's get into it. I am mad excited to do this episode. This is, I almost started off my channel by doing this movie because it just it's just that movie for me it's my movie this is it 1992 Reginald Hudlin directed Eddie Murphy Halle Berry um, Robin Givens at her damn finest Eartha Kitt uh, David Allen Greer Martin Lawrence Tisha Campbell Chris Rock the late great John Witherspoon this is just that movie grace jones is in this flick so i'm going to tell you about the movie that, as i usually do on the channel i try to look at it from the perspective that if you've never seen the movie before i don't want to say little things that could just kind of make the experience less enjoyable for you there's little funny parts and little funny bits that if they're kind of like a surprise to you that would be better so i'll give you a quick synopsis of the film and then we'll get into my personal take on the film and why i like it so much so boomerang stars eddie murphy playing the role of Marcus Graham, who's a successful marketing executive working for a cosmetic company. Marcus is a bit of a playboy, I shouldn't say bit of a playboy, he's a straight up playboy, player, womanizer type. Uh, we get a sense of his character at the beginning of the movie where he chases down the lovely Layla Rashan, the sunshine of Layla Rashan, gets her phone number, kind of convinces her, you know, hooks up with her, winds up sleeping with her, and then kind of like dismisses her based on the fact that she's got ugly feet. His boys, played by David Allen Greer and uh, Martin Lawrence, so Gerard and Tyler, kind of like give him a bit of nonsense about that. Like, okay, you're a bit too picky, but according to Marcus's uh, philosophy, he's looking for perfection when it comes to a woman. Now, Marcus's company is being acquired by another cosmetic company called Lady Eloise. Lady Eloise is being played ever so seductively and sensually by the incredible, incomparable, God rest, Eartha Kit. Lady Eloise winds up coming on to Marcus. She's kind of a horny old lady and she winds up getting with Marcus and Marcus does the do with Elo Lady Eloise in an attempt to secure his position as head of marketing once the acquisition of his company is done. Now after he sleeps with Lady Eloise he winds up bumping into the absolutely lovely and at her finest Robin Givens who plays the role of Jacqueline Boyer who is the marketing executive for Lady Eloise's company. Now Marcus then finds out that Jacqueline is actually going to be the head of marketing. Again the job he thought he was going to get and he thought he secured by sleeping with a lady eloise turns out though that lady eloise is really nothing more than a figurehead she's like the name on the, the on the building on the product so she has zero power zero decision making uh power whatsoever and she's it marcus is not getting the job now immediately of course Marcus was attracted to Jacqueline the moment he met her, even before he knew who she was and knew that she was going to be coming into the company and she was going to be taking over the job he thought he was getting. Now, the issue is Jacqueline is not going to be as easy to conquer as a lot of the other women that Marcus has done so with in the past. His boys, Tyler and Gerard, again played by David Allen Greer and Martin Lawrence, are taking bets as to see how long it's going to take for him to actually get with Jacqueline and whether he's actually going to get her at all. After some flirtation and mild seduction based on Jacqueline's part of her actually being the seductress, they finally sleep together, and at that point, Marcus determines that she's the one, and she's absolutely perfect, and he wants to get with her, and he actually falls in love with her. Problem is, Jacqueline is pretty much even more of a player than Marcus. So she kind of reversed the entire situation, a whole reversal of a dog kind of thing. See what I just did there? If you know the soundtrack to this movie, Grace Jones has a track on this film score, uh, film soundtrack called Reversal of a Dog. So I figured I'd just throw that in there. I think it's Grace Jones. Is Grace Jones the one that sings Reversal of a Dog on there? Who does that? I think it's Grace Jones. We'll, we'll get to that. So yeah, essentially Jacqueline's character and Marcus' character, they do hook up, but she's totally just like playing the whole thing like 
it's casual. She even goes so far as spreading Marcus's business in a restaurant to Grace Jones, uh, who plays Stranger, who's a like hot kind of crazy model working for the company and doing a campaign for a new perfume. So Jacqueline like spills the beans and talks about what sex is like with Marcus and it kind of just embarrasses him. So it's it, again, it's essentially that reversal thing where the woman flips the whole script. She's the one that's kind of like treating him like a piece of meat and he's the one that's kind of like head over heels for her and really wanting to be with her and have a relationship. So at that point, the relationship goes sour. Marcus has had enough. Jacqueline's like, all right, fine. You want to leave? Leave. And Marcus is like, all right, I'm out. And that ends. Now, at that point, Marcus is mad, like just down in the dumps and super depressed. Oh, wait a minute. You said Halle Berry was in this movie, right? Yes, Halle Berry. I did say Halle Berry's in this movie, as a matter of fact. Halle Berry in her breakthrough performance role. Halle Berry plays Angela Lewis, a young executive working for the marketing department of the company. So she works underneath Jacqueline and Marcus. Marcus originally tries to hook Angela up with his boy Gerard, again, played by David Allen Greer. That relationship's kind of like a little weird and awkward, doesn't really go anywhere. They barely have a dinner date and that just kind of ends that whole thing. Now, the time that Marcus is upset and depressed and just feeling miserable and all blue, Angela, gets a little closer to him as a friend and tries to cheer him up and kind of take him, you know, into, into her school where she does work with kids and she tries to get him feeling better about himself and they build a small friendship. There's a dinner party at Marcus's and we meet Gerard's parents and one of Gerard's parents is played, his father is played by John Witherspoon, the late great John Witherspoon in a classic memorable dinner scene that you will never forget when you see this movie. I won't go into it beyond that, but it's a big dinner party. There's all sorts of dishes and Angela ends up staying to help Marcus do the dishes. Now, when I say do the dishes, I actually mean like cleaning the dishes with like plates and stuff and pots cleaning the dishes to get your mind out the gutter but she does end up staying and they do end up falling asleep watching star trek and typically when that happens when you have your friends stay and she's kind of fine and you just happen to be laying there and the tv's on at all hours of the night things happen as they do with Angela and Marcus. So they sleep together and then soon enough they're dating Angela moves in and they have a relationship only problem is Eddie is still torn between his feelings for Jacqueline. So he's kind of like in this back and forth mode and he's not quite sure what he's doing. That essentially is the movie Boomerang. So as usual, I just give you the kind of the setup, tell you what's going on, and then we see what happens. Mark, it's essentially a movie where Marcus, the playboy, is caught up between two women and needs to figure out what he's gonna do with his life, figure out how he's gonna handle it, figure out whether he knows what love is, whether love's gonna bring him home or not, whether he's gonna get with Jacqueline or whether he's gonna get with Angela. And that essentially is Boomerang. So let me just get into a few things about this. This movie for me made so much of an impact only because I think I identified a lot with the main character with Marcus Graham. I mean, I think a lot of young men went through that phase in their life, that Marcus Graham phase. So I personally felt myself identifying with a lot of the scenes and the scenarios in this film. So it just meant something to me on that regard. I just thought Eddie was super cool in the movie. Speaking of which, one of the things back in the 90s, like 91, 92, 93, you had like a string of movies that were coming out that were all sort of like hood, urban crime drama movies. You had Boys in the Hood, um, Menace to Society, New Jack City, uh, Juice. And Boomerang for me was like this refreshing film with beautiful black people on screen, you know, running a company and head of a company and had their own company. And, you know, Robin Givens was beautiful and the wardrobes were beautiful. All the women, all the sisters in the in the company were beautiful. You know, you had these great relationships with the men and, and, and David Allen Greer's character, Martin Lawrence's character and Eddie and just they dressed well. Everybody was in charge. And it was just something that a young black man, a young black woman could go to the theater and feel like, wow, like, you know, that is just something to either aspire to or you felt like it was real tangible relationships and success of our people as opposed to the typical shoot 'em up urban crime drama if that makes any sense if you feel me on that let me know in the comments and we could talk about that so at heart it's a love story it is there i've had people say you know listening to other reviews and and people say i've seen people say that you know eddie's Eddie's character was a sleaze bag and it was kind of like there was no redeeming qualities there and all these things and i totally disagree with that because i feel like it's it's a typical situation where you got a playboy or a guy who doesn't quite know how to handle love just yet he's a womanizer he's in between things and he eventually matures he grows up as we all have, we this, these things happen. So at the heart of it, you got a guy who, again, he went through his thing and then he winds up finding love. Who he finds it with, I'm gonna let y'all find that out. Again, if you never saw Boomerang, 
this is the movie you got to find. I'm going to put a link in the description, as I usually do, to where you can actually see it streaming, whatever services it's on. Um, and also, you can want to purchase the actual DVD. I don't even think they made this on Blu-ray. This is the old DVD. I'm not sure why they didn't make it on Blu-ray. This is a great, it's a classic movie that I think was very overlooked at the time. I, I'm not sure why, um, but just a very overlooked movie. I, I'll tell you something else. I remember showing this to my brother. One of my younger brothers was like, I think he was maybe 17 at the time when I showed him this, but he was over my place for the weekend. And uh, I said, you never saw Boomerang? He said, no, I never saw Boomerang. I said, you gotta see Boomerang, man. It's an Eddie Murphy, it's a classic. Halle Berry, you know, whatever. I started telling him. And he actually watched it. And I'm thinking he's going to get bored or he's going to think this is some old movie or he's not going to like it. And sure enough, he loved it. So if you haven't seen this movie, definitely give this a watch uh, on the weekend or when you get a chance, watch this movie. I'll tell you something else. Soundtrack wise, I didn't even get into the soundtrack yet. The soundtrack for this film is fantastic. This is one of those movies where, I mean, I remember movies having the soundtrack and the, the main hit from the movie being every bit as important as the actual movie. If you look at movies like, you know, the Juice, speaking of Juice again, Juice, the Juice soundtrack, um, soundtrack for New Jack City, going back, uh, The Breakfast Club, Footloose, going way back, Saturday Night Fever. Soundtracks were really a big part of the film, and this was one of the last ones that really did it right. This is back at LaFace Records, you know, Babyface and L.A. Reid back in their heyday, and you've got a Babyface song with Tony Braxton. You've got P.M. Dawn's classic, I Would Die Without You. You've got Johnny Gill, Keith Washington. I think there's an Aaron Hall song on here. There's a TLC song on here. Uh, it's like a Baby LaFace All-Stars. Like, it's a mix of a bunch of people on here, but it's just an incredible classic 90s R&B soundtrack, and if you don't have that, go to whatever service you're using apple music title spotify i'll put a link for that those in the description as well so you can listen to the soundtrack if you haven't heard it because it is a classic that's it for me on film fan i was really excited to talk to you guys about this and i hope you have seen this movie and if you have not make sure you do so and let me know in the comments below what you think of boomerang if you did see it so that's it look we're kind of stuck. I know movie theaters are opening up slowly here and there. So if you can get to a movie and you feel safe going to a movie, go ahead and go to the movies. But if not, remember something. Any movie you haven't seen, whether it's 5 years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, 25 years old, 50 years old, if you've never seen it, the movie is brand new to you. So get ahead and watch the movie. So find a movie to watch. Lose yourself in the movies. Find yourself in the movies. Love the movies. And I'll see you on the next Film Fan.